Hi, my name is Malaika Booker and I am one of the founding members of Malaika's Poetry Kitchen. Um, 20 years ago, myself and Roger Robinson sat down in my house and cooked up Malaika's Poetry Kitchen. Today, I'm going to read a poem from our anthology, Too Young, Too Loud, Too Different. Um, the poem is called An Alternative History of Stones. Um, and it's really a tribute and a memorial to a friend. I received news during lockdown that a friend of mine had been killed by her husband um, in a domestic violence case. Um, and um, basically the poem is an attempt to, to memorialize, to testament, to grieve in a time when you couldn't leave your house to go to funerals. An alternative history of stones. Let us address the stones. And you, stone, too have stories to tell. Back home, in the woman's hometown village, young men gather stones in lush green bush to create a circle of stones, to rest their pots over hot coals, cooking oil down. Yesterday, news flew across the net like a soiled dove with a broken wing. Fragile bruises bloomed. How long had he been seasoning the woman up to cook in her home like her house was an oven? Oh, let us address the stones as stones too have stories to tell. Sir, you tell the poet, stone does not burn. It may crack or even be crushed into powder, but your answer is too late. Stone, you speak of David toppling Goliath with his slingshot. In the woman's village, boys went into the bush, armed with slingshots to pelt birds, break their wings. Is this where the man learned to break his dove's wings. Remember, poet, you say, this is a poem about stones. Meanwhile, across Facebook, the woman's friends are stones rumbling, stones heavy. One post states, I spoke to her only last night. Death did not hint it was a stone's throw to the crawling fire. In this poem, honey thickens in the woman's vein instead of water. Boiling epidermis shrinks then splits. Open and oil flows from the woman's body like boiling tears. Oh, give me more oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Her friends sing a choir across Facebook, hymns to erase, thoughts of oil in that oven burning, burning till daybreak. Sir, this is a poem about stones, yes. And you, stones, have our stories to tell. Look at the woman's village. A nun sits on a big stone. Look again at the woman's village. A nun sits on a big stone by the seashore, under the fire of sunset, praying for the woman trapped between a rock and a hard marriage. Sir, stone is prayer, a servant of the mouth, like stones are servants of the palm. Where were prayers at daybreak when the woman needed? Oh, let us address the stones, as stones have their own stories to tell. The poet attempts to resurrect. The poem attempts to resuscitate, oh, let us address the stones.